Good morning. So, um, thank you for all the comments on the songs. It means a lot. Um, I'm really picky with, with, uh, especially what I upload when it comes to, you know, acoustic stuff. So I felt, I felt good about what I've been working on and I wanted to share it. Now, regarding, um, an album, um, it's something I've been thinking about the last year. So some things have happened recently I haven't shared with you guys, but Sleeper Cell broke up. Uh, Bob, the drummer, still one of my best friends, such a good guy, he, he decided he didn't want to do it anymore. And uh, we lost our practice place too due to uh, a friend moving. So, Sleeper Cell, I don't want to say it's over. Um, I'm definitely going to record some acoustic stuff. Um, I may only do some home recordings, but there's a possibility I may spend a little more money and, and do something a little more professional. But the thing is, it's like, with songwriting for me I don't look at it as I have some goal in mind you know I write songs and I work on what I do because it's f like fulfilling I mean it's um, therapeutic in a sense um, it's like I I can I don't know how to explain it so the one I just I just uploaded this morning um, I had completely different lyrics and a vocal pattern for that, and I recorded it, and I wasn't happy with it, and I shelved, shelved it. Then I listened to this rough recording that I did where I was just kind of making stuff up, not singing anything. I was like, man, that's, that's what I want. So I instantly started working on it, and it it just flowed and all the lyrics came out and all of a sudden I had this this song I've been wanting to finish but I had put it on the shelf knowing that I want to finish it I just didn't know how exactly so that's a really good thing now when it comes to recording um, Recording is for sure in the future. How I release something, um, I I don't know. I love making actual albums, you know. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should do a GoFundMe. For <laughs> you guys want to, you guys want to pitch in money for a vinyl or something, I don't know, and uh, maybe I could do something like that. I don't like asking for money, that's why I don't, you know, say like, hey, I'm accepting donations, you know, I did that last year a little bit, I'm not, that's the whole thing, I, I really enjoy doing what I do on here, and um, the little bit of money I make through YouTube is like probably about twenty to thirty dollars a month you know obviously that that's not <laughs> you know what whatever um, but maybe that's that's a goal I don't know well what do you guys think of that so if I was to record some songs there's a there's a studio in town that I could do really quality recording and then do a possibly a GoFundMe to do vinyl. I don't know. That's an idea. Um, it'd probably be about fifteen hundred dollars to you know, like press three hundred records or something. And um, at some level of donation, I would just send you a record. 
Uh, I don't know. Is that that maybe that's a good idea? That could be cool. Because there's not really when it comes to record labels and stuff like that. I mean, it's not like it used to be. You know, it used to be like if if a label you guys kind of understand it, but there's a lot of smaller labels and and that's how things worked, you know, before the internet being how it is today. A label that was putting out albums like whatever, Sub Pop, CZ, Cruise, SST, Kill Rock Stars, K, you know, on and on, um, would release albums or singles for bands they liked, or whatever. But that's not as much around today. I mean, labels will release something, but they, for them to spend money on you, they you have to know they're going to make some money back. But if I was to do this correctly and do my own vinyl and not try to make a whole shit ton of copies, but it'd be set up so if I get rid of 300 copies, then I just reinvest in more. It's like a second pressing or something. So, I don't know. I mean, that's an idea. Um, so, yeah. So I really do want to do that. Um, and I do have a band that plays a bunch of songs that I wrote called The Spins. Um, some of those songs would be on my solo album, though. For sure. Um, and then I would do them with the band also. So I get really nervous playing by myself. Not that I won't, but it's very nerve-wracking. It's like the most nerve-wracking thing ever for playing live. It scares the shit out of me, actually. Um, Alright, well, anyway, yeah, thanks. Thanks again, and uh, I am seriously considering doing, doing an album. Um... But I wouldn't want to release it or even like put a GoFundMe or something until until I knew that the songs were recorded exactly how I want. There wouldn't even have to be no doubt at all. So when it was released, it would be just, you know, I would be totally happy with it. And yeah. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.